Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Quad Jumper Mark 1, a craft that I have built for the purpose of getting us to a pretty high altitude so we can collect some science points. Inside of this chamber is a barometer, thermometer, and mystery goo. And uh, as you can see, we have a craft that is staged to hopefully get us to a reasonable height. I have tested this thing, and it is more stable than the craft that I lost control of at the end of the first part of this Let's Play. But it does have a tendency to, on occasion, wobble itself out of control. So it's stable, it's more stable, but it's still not stable, if you get what I mean. Now with that said, let's, I guess, go ahead and save and launch, and hopefully hopefully get ourselves a whole bunch of science that's what we need we're taking valentina kerman and we're gonna see if this thing is gonna work oh boy oh boy i hope so let's just go straight up we are looking pretty good definitely looking pretty stable which is what i want to see this thing usually goes out of control about this point doesn't look like it's gonna do that which is promising. Very, very promising. We are almost out of fuel on those boosters, which is good as well. We'll go ahead and fire those off. They're going to explode because they hit into each other, which is fine by me. And we fire the second booster, which gives us just a bit more height. And uh, also the opportunity to start leaning to the side. Come on, start leaning for me. Start leaning for me. Just keep on leaning. Keep on leaning. Keep on leaning. Come on, lean. Uh, what was there? Nope, not that way, not that way. Just that way a little bit, and lock it in. That'll do, just sort of, oh, come on, stabilize. Fire that way, fire those boosters, and uh, fire them that way. So what that's going to do is that is going to expand the radius of our orbit. We are not going to get into an actual orbit here. That is worth mentioning. We don't have the fuel to do it. But we are going to get some significant distance on this particular flight, both in terms of height, up to 270,000 meters, and uh, just general distance because it looks like we are going to be, well, landing in the water, but we sort of crossed a pretty great space of, uh, of land there. So what I would like to do is, I guess, jettison what we have left. We still have our science. We still have means of, uh, of landing here, but uh, I'm going to just speed up time. So that we can get to the top-ish of this, uh, of this orbit. Just about there, I think. Seems pretty good to me. So we'll go ahead and, uh, just slow down time to, uh, regular speed. We'll come in here and we'll open this. We'll take a quick crew report, which is gonna get me 7.5 science. We can take a reading of the thermometer for 12 science. We can take a reading of the mystery goo for 15 science. And we can take a reading of the barometer for 18 signs. Now, that's very, very good. Let's go ahead and close the service bay. And uh, I guess what we're going to need to do is lock the craft into a position where it's sort of facing that way. So that upon returning, what we should end up doing is uh, using the heat shield to absorb most of the heat. So we don't end up uh, completely killing ourselves. Which would be a bit problematic considering I'm bringing my science back with me as opposed to transmitting it. Because that's not a thing I can currently do yet because I need batteries. But in theory, well, if I sort of angle myself that way a little bit, I think. Let's uh, speed up and see where I'm going. Yeah, I'm sort of going that way. Ish. Yeah, I'm heading over there. So if I sort of angle this craft a little bit, just sort of like, uh, like that. So it's going to come in and sort of, yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine, is what I'm thinking. Oh, hold up. Yeah, if I sort of angle it like that, I think we'll be all right. So let's speed up time and see what happens. It should, definitely a big should, but it should burn up the heat shield. It might not destroy it, but that thing will absorb the majority of the heat, which is exactly what I need it to do. So let's point ourselves there. And there we go. It's uh, it's heating up. I'm assuming the orbit has shrunk a little bit. Yeah, because it was beyond that that bit of land before. It's not anymore. But that's fine. 
the heat shield is absorbing all the heat, which is great news. Something just blew up. I think that might have been the rest of my craft. But that's fine. The science gain from this is absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. There we go. That's the rest of my craft burning up down there or breaking up upon contact with the uh, the water. Let's go ahead and deploy the drogue shoots at about, uh, I'll say like 3,000 meters, maybe 2,000. Maybe I'll play, I'll play things uh, a little close here. We'll go for like 3,000 meters so that we are going to slow down within a reasonable amount of time. So there we go. Deploy everything, which is going to slow us right down. It is going to flip us over, but we will flip back over when the main chute deploys as well. And of course, we can speed up time to uh, just make that a bit of a quicker process. Because we really don't need to, uh, you know, spend too much time just uh, falling from the sky and going in for our landing. Despite that, you know, it's about to go a bit slower due to uh, the main chute deploying. But this is good. This is very, very good. We have a lot of science on our vessel at the moment. We will absolutely be able to build bigger and better crafts, better ships and all that stuff, once we deposit that science and uh, go to the R&D facility. And I'm definitely quite excited by that. So uh, let's just go ahead and start slowing down a little bit. Oh, we're almost there. Almost landed. Almost landed. Very, very close. Let's just slow things right down and go for a nice gentle landing. There we go. Let's recover the vessel then and see what we're looking at in terms of science. What do we got? Come on. Show me the science. Show me the science. There we go. Up to 60. Okay. That I can deal with. That I can I can absolutely deal with. Let's go ahead and say done. Let's go to R&D. And I could look into landing. Landing will get me things like bigger heat shields, landing struts, what is that? A launch escape system? This solid rocket tower is designed to wrench the command pod up and away from a malfunctioning rocket. That's interesting. A bigger parachute and uh, some small landing gear, which would kind of be useful. Very expensive, though. We also have aerodynamics, which will get me circular intakes, adapters, nose cones, inline cockpits, that thing. Again, quite interesting, but I think maybe general rocketry would be an idea, so we can get the Thumper rocket fuel booster. Solid fuel booster. And maybe general construction, too. So I can get a crew cabin, I can get strut connectors, fuselages, brand, uh, whatever that is in terms of decoupler, an adapter, and also the stability enhancer for the launch. The thing is, flight control would be nice as well. The inline reaction wheel system uses a series of spinning disks that are going very fast to generate the torque necessary to control the spacecraft without wasting any propellant. Okay. Okay. I mean, that seems useful. So enhanced winglets, too. This is basic science. So that is the Stay Putnik. That is the battery pack. Very useful. I could use a battery pack for transmitting data. That is the Science Junior, which is a self-contained laboratory. It's an observed materials bay. The experiment storage unit is, I guess, what it says in the tin, and that is a radiator panel. 45 for that. And 20 for that. So we can't afford both. But the temptation to go for the basic science so I can get more science is pretty high. So I'm going to go for that. Even if it's not necessarily the right thing to do. I, I do think, you know, going for the, going for stuff that can let me get more science points it just seems like a good idea. So what I want to do is uh, come in here and decouple that. Not permanently, but just for now. And then get, like, the science junior. Throw it on there. And then, you know, pair that there. So the science junior, I can open the doors. And, uh, what does that do exactly? Like, if I have a look inside, what is it? Is that just a thi like, can I... I assume I can take some tests on that thing. Like, if I go to here and I say, deploy the mystery goo, I think it's just showing me what it looks like when it's open. The thing is, I don't know if I actually have to get out to use the Science Junior, which is, is, is confusing, to say the least. 
I guess we can... We can test that. I guess that's a thing we can do. What else do we have? We have, uh... Obviously got electricity in terms of the rechargeable battery pack. That can be recharged with solar panels, but unfortunately I don't have any of those, so that's not really going to be a thing we're doing. So what I'll do is I'll put a couple of battery packs just there. And... We have, uh... Radial panels for thermals and all that stuff, which would be nice, but we don't really need. Uh, we have... Anything else interesting in here? Not really. Definitely, definitely not really. Uh, we do probably want to get a Commutatron on here. I'm sort of thinking... Oh, high gain antenna is interesting looking. We kind of only need one of them, though. Uh, so I'm curious to see what this looks like when it's deployed. I'm assuming... Yeah, it sort of just fires up. All right. Well, that's kind of an interesting looking thing. So what if I sort of put the high gain antenna that way? And then we retract it so it goes there. I'm sort of thinking that might work. And might let me transmit. I don't know how this thing necessarily works. I should probably look into that. But, uh... I mean, if I right-click on this, it needs an electrical charge, 51.4 per second. And this thing generates... It's got 100. So this thing will work very briefly. So maybe we don't want to use that. Maybe we want to use, like, this, which uses... 20 per second? Definitely seems better. So uh, I think we'll go with this and hope that it works. Obviously, we can't recharge these batteries for a while, but that's fine. That's, this is still going to be the Quad Jumper Mark 1, I think. So we'll just save that. We're just going to launch. Unable to launch because we don't have... We've got too many parts. We've got 32 parts when we can only have 30. Okay. Um, maybe we get rid of the drogue shoots and we hope that we can just slow down enough. I, I have my doubts, but... We can try. We can certainly, certainly try. Although, alternatively, what I could do is put some radial shoots in the sides. So I could have two radial shoots as opposed to... Ah, forget it. We'll figure out what happens. Let's just save and launch. We have 30 parts in this craft. What I want to do initially is just test the Science Junior. So... If we just right-click on you and observe the materials bay, we get science immediately. And we can transmit it, but I'll keep it, which is fine by me, and uh, then close the doors. And I guess that's that, isn't it? That's, that's pretty much, like, science right away. Uh, let me just open the doors on this and have a real quick look at uh, everything and make sure I've got temperatures from here. No, I don't. Let's observe the goo on the landing pad as well, which is going to give me a little bit of science. And uh, then the barometer as well, because I, have I done it here? Uh, a little bit of science too. Okay, so that was absolutely worth it. Let's recover the vessel. And we have, uh, we have ourselves a bit of free science. Yeah, we're up to 32. Not bad. Let's go to R&D, and I can... Get myself general rocketry. I could get this as well. No, I couldn't. But I can go for general rocketry. I do feel like like flight control is a good one, but I think I'll go general rocketry just to get it out of the way. That leads into advanced rocketry, which is a thing I'm going to want eventually. So let's leave this facility. Let's go to the assembly building. And I guess what I'm going to do is, rather than trying to put this thing... Actually, no. No, 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 no. We are going to try and put this thing in a proper... Not an orbit, but a similar thing to what we did before. So we're going to try and repeat what we did. We're going to go up, and we're going to try and get to a reasonable height. Do some tests. Get some science. Uh, although we're not really going to get much, now that I think about it. Because we have already done that. The only difference is we have the Science Junior, so... I guess we'll do it to see just how much science we can get... I mean, I think ideally the next step is most likely going to be an actual orbit. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. 
we are just going to have to launch. And that's pretty much all we can do. We're going to fire ourselves up. We could look into doing a test here whilst in flight, which is a lot of science. So let's maybe... I guess instead of burning that engine there, I'm actually going to change the decoupling to uh, decouple the whole thing. So that's just going to fire... What did I fire? I don't I don't actually know what I've just fired. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, I kind of just want to land, honestly. I kind of, I kind of do just want to land. So if I close those doors, I've already got the data. It's a fair bit of science, so... What I'm going to try and do is, I guess, I I guess I can sort of just fire myself across. I, I guess we'll try. We'll, we'll do this. We'll sort of angle ourselves that way and uh, fire the engine. Just sort of go like this, I guess. We're not really at a significant height, but we can push out a little bit and just go for a bit of a flight. Because there's really, you know, we're not going to get into orbit. We are going to cover some distance, so we might as well. I mean, I, I see no reason not to. Then we can just decouple. And it is also a test, I suppose, to see if this thing can successfully come back, which I don't know if it necessarily can. So that is something I would like to see. What height are we going to get to here? Pretty high. I guess we could look into doing a crew report here. Which is going to give me nothing, unfortunately. Let's, uh, crew report. Anything? A little bit of science. That'll do. Uh, let's maybe slow things down. And... I keep hitting M to go to the map. That's not what I want to do. Uh, so we have a crew report. What I'd like to do is very quickly open this and just see if we're going to get anything extra. At all. Let's log the temperature. Uh, 8 science. We can observe the goo. Which is 10 science. And, uh, the barometer as well. Which is just there for... Oh, well, no. That's, uh... 12 science. That's fine by me. That's more science. And more science is, uh... Is always a good thing. Now, let's go ahead and sort of lock ourselves to facing that way. And speed things up so we can uh, go ahead and get ourselves back into the... Atmosphere. Looks like we're going for another water landing, which is no big deal. No big deal at all. We can, okay, ever so slightly angle ourselves like this so that everything is going to be okay. The real problem and the real danger here is basically that we don't have shoots to slow us down this time. So we need to hope air resistance can do that. And uh, we need to hope this shoot is going to be enough to actually sort of help us here because we're going pretty fast. And if this thing deploys when we're going too fast, it's going to just tear something off as opposed to, you know, slow us properly. Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that doesn't happen because I would like to keep the science we have here. I would absolutely like to keep the science we have here. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not really holding my breath because I have a funny feeling that... Uh, Something might get torn off here. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's not gonna be... Well, I'm hoping nothing's gonna get torn off, to be honest. But I just, I don't... I don't feel good about this. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Are we okay? We're okay. No, that is surprising. That is very surprising. I honestly expected to, uh... To crash and burn. I'll be honest, I honestly thought we were just going to have this thing tear off, and that was going to be the end of Valentina Kerman, but apparently not. We're going in for a landing either way. We'll see what happens once we hit the water. Probably nothing, to be honest. Yeah. We sort of fall over onto our side, and that's it. So let's recover the vessel and see how much science we got from that. Another decent amount, at least, which is very good news. At least I'm thinking it was a decent amount. It was up to 64. What is 65 science? We're not really getting money because we are spending it on, you know, all of our crafts, but that's fine. If we look into R&D, we can go for flight control, which might be a good idea. Advanced rocketry, 
all this stuff. Space exploration. Which would also be nice. We can get rover wheels. We can get the mobility enhancer. We have miniaturization. Which is just a bunch of... That's a docking port. Ooh. Electrics as well. Something I think would would definitely be nice. You know, so we can get a, a probe up into space eventually. But uh, I think I want flight control. Well, now that I think about it, maybe not. Because we haven't had too many problems with uh, with flight. So maybe advanced rocketry. You know, get some fuel tanks. That's a decent fuel tank as well. Uh, get the Terrier liquid fuel engine. All that stuff. Get the small thud engines as well. I think I'm going to go for advanced rocketry. Because to be honest, I don't real that's a big booster i think actually i think that's a small one that goes in sort of the side no it's a super heavy booster designed to be recovered after jettison jettis jettisoning once recovered it's refurbished and refunded or refueled for another launch now to be honest that is something i want to do i want to find a way to build craft where we stop having disposable parts which I think I might try here. I might test it. Obviously, we have the um, the quad jumper Mark One, which is this, and uh, we have quite a few crafts here. Obviously, uh, but what I'm thinking is, if I were to go and maybe change this up a little bit. So what I want to do is just test something. This is all this is going to be. So we'll take this out. Well, we'll not do that. What we'll do is we'll take out the. Uh, We'll take out this bit. We'll keep the heat shield. We'll delete that, delete that. We're going to delete those as well. Delete that. Attach the heat shield to the bottom of that. And that's going to recover itself. So that's self-explanatory. But what I want to try then is having each stage of this be recoverable. Just as a test. This is all I want to do. I want to basically say that these parachutes are going to go... There. That's maybe a bit much in the way of symmetry. Uh, we'll do... I guess like that. That's fine. That's a heavy bit of equipment. That's fine. Uh, then this bit is... All gonna sort of blow up. Is the problem. And that's kind of not what I wanted to do. I kind of want it to survive. Which I could do if I sort of chuck those on there. But, well, it's a bit small. Uh, aerodynamics... Let's throw that on there again. Then we'll throw, I guess, some parachutes onto the side of these. Might work, might not. Uh, then that one in there needs a parachute as well. And apparently four of them. Okay. So what happens initially? We fire those? No. We fire the engines. Then the parachutes deploy... Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, then this gets changed up a little bit, so that thing fires, then those parachutes deploy, then uh, that decouples, and then that engine fires, then they deploy, then that decouple. I, I guess that might work. I don't know. I really don't know. I just want to see... If we're going to just call this recovery test. I don't know. We're gonna, I just want to see if this will work. So just give that a quick save. Uh, nothing of this is valuable. I mean, the, the Kerbal inside is valuable, but I don't know. I mean, I can. what I can do is I can say that, you know, these things deploy, you know, at that height. But I don't know if I can do that automatically. So, we're going to launch this. Craft has too many parts. Of course it does. Oh, how many parts do you have? 34. Okay. We're going to get rid of these. I just punched my microphone. Uh, we're going to get rid of those. And what we're going to do is launch that with those guys. And then, instead of decoupling there, we decouple there. So, it just all goes together. 
So they they fire those parachutes fire at the same time as that decouples. I think that should be changed, and uh, they fire first, then it decouples. So they all fire at the same time, which means they should all fall together. Which means in theory they shouldn't blow up because they're not disconnecting from this central thing. That's my that's my thinking. So let's save and let's launch and let's see if that works. Because the reason they blew up before is because the central column that held them together left. And they were always sort of ever so slightly leaning inward. So as soon as they have nothing to kind of lean on, they just go in and crash. So my thinking here is that... Let's just check the staging. So they fire. Then they deploy. And as soon as they deploy, I just need to uh, decouple. Then that'll be a non-issue because that won't be attached to my craft. Then uh, that fires, then they fire eventually, then that, yeah. So that should work, in theory. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's fire. And just sort of go straight up. We are almost out of fuel on the central booster, which is fine. The rest of them will continue forward. My only concern is that's glowing red, so I don't know if it's necessarily safe to deploy the parachutes, but I'm, I'm gonna see what happens. We're going to go ahead and we're going to deploy, which may have broken the chutes. I think it did. I think it did absolutely break the chutes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. The chutes don't seem to have deployed. Disarm. Safe to deploy, unsafe. Interesting. Well, we'll decouple and we'll just fire ourselves forward a bit. I am wondering if the chutes will actually deploy. I have no idea. Because it did say it was unsafe to do so, but I wonder if that means that they will deploy when it's safe to do so? I really don't know. I really, really don't. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and deploy those chutes as well. Again, don't know if that's actually going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, then this thing's just going to sort of fly itself up. I guess that's that's what's happening here. This is going straight up and then coming straight back down. Well, it's not going straight back down, but it's going up. It's coming down. I'm curious. I'm I'm legitimately curious to see if anything survived. Uh, this thing here. I mean, looking at it, it doesn't seem like that is a thing that's happened. I can't actually see anything of my debris over that way. So somehow I don't think my plan has been a success. Which is a shame. Which is definitely a shame. I can only assume that there is a method to... Yeah, I heard something explode. I can only assume there is a method to... Yeah, that's just blew up completely. There's going to be a method to auto-deploying parachutes, right? Like, this one's currently unsafe to deploy. No, it's safe. So... There is method to it, right? If I, I'm going to just quickly Google while I fall here. Kerbal Space Program Auto uh, Parachute, I guess. It's suggested. Auto deploying parachutes after decouple. So, this is an old thread. I don't know. It's, it's a thing that seems to be talked about. On the Kerbal Space Program wiki, there is... Not really much to be said about it, really. Now, we're in an interesting landing spot there. But yeah, there's not really much to be said about it. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure if that is a thing we can do. I really would like to try it, though. I would really like to try and just auto-deploy parachute. I don't know. We'll recover the vessel anyway. That was a that was just a test flight to see if that's a thing I can do. Because if I could, then what I what I want to do eventually, and my my point of playing this game is basically to become SpaceX. I know that sounds dumb, but what I mean is, I want to be able to send a craft up and bring it back, like the entire thing. I want to be able to do a vertical takeoff in a rocket and bring it back down to land vertically. I know that sounds dumb, but I kind of want to do it because I think that'd be really cool.
I mean, let me let me give you an example here. So if I was to do if I was to have none of this thing decouple, I would basically want it to go straight up and then straight back down, right? That's that's kind of that would be the plan. Uh, obviously, that would be a bit tricky with certain parts of the craft, but the idea would be that we don't have a parachute at all. Uh, we can. Oh, that is actually a that is actually a probe. Okay, we're gonna we could test this with a probe. Like this is legitimately tested uh, testable with a probe, which. I think I'm I'm interested in doing. Uh, I mean, if we just throw, if I just throw like a thumper onto the bottom of this, I mean that's a that's a bad idea because it's not really the right size. But imagine you know we have like the thumper because that's about the size of like the rocket I would want to. Not really the size; it'd be bigger. But imagine that was it. Uh, we have ground stuff. We have these micro landing struts. If I was to put the micro landing struts and quite a few of them, we'll say we'll say four just because that's kind of the, the number we'd probably want to play with. Uh, we'll go with like four micro landing struts there. If we went straight up and could guide this thing back down, now this is a solid fuel booster, so it wouldn't work with this. But if we could control the thrust from something like this and then have these little landers at the bottom, we could, in theory, land. If we can guide this back, not necessarily on the landing pad, but... I reckon we could do it. I reckon I could go up and control it well enough to bring it back. I mean, if I did that, then I went and got myself a small engine such as this one. That could work. I see no reason for it not to. And I am going to give this a real quick test before we wrap things up for today. Because uh, I can get these to sit quite low. Just lower than the engine. So that will be sitting on those landing gear, on that uh, that landing gear. Uh, I would like to, I guess, start extended. So, yeah, in theory, this can go straight up and straight back down. In theory, obviously. This is going to be the, uh, I guess, VTOL Mark 1. The very, you know, the VTOL drone Mark 1. But uh, that's, that's the plan, anyway. Whether or not it works, I don't know. To be honest, it would probably make more sense to try it with this tank, as opposed to a tank with a lot of fuel in it. So let's just do the most basic craft that we can. Which is going to be this, absolutely. Uh, we'll get the landing gear on there. And uh, that's the VTOL Mark 1. It looks it looks like a probe, let's be honest. Uh, so let's test it. Let's see if my theory is correct. Where this can just go up and back down. Not necessarily onto the pad, but just up and down. I want to see if I can make it land. No operational SAS. Okay. So we cannot do SAS. That's fine. What I would like to do is start very, very gently. Just push it off the ground. Just very gently. Okay. 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 That's fine. Let's get to about 150 meters. Then start killing the engine. Completely kill the engine. But then we slowly burn. And we kind of keep this, get, oh, quick burn, quick burn, quick burn, quick burn. We killed the engine. But we landed. So there is method to my madness. And that, to me, is promising. That is, that is promising. Oh, that's ridiculous. I love that. But that is, that, oh, that's exciting. That is, that is exciting to me. That is very exciting to me. So I definitely, definitely want to uh, give this a shot at some point. I want to get myself a vertical takeoff and landing rocket. I want to be SpaceX. We're going to try it. It might not work, but we're going to try it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you, Kyle, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh, bye bye.